We're leaving the rest up to you. Don't let Miss Serpent give us any more surprises. We return to the banquet hall of the club again. The hall is unusually quiet. Unconscious people are sprawled out everywhere, curled up like babies, dreaming sweet dreams. They puff out traces of contamination as they murmur happily in their sleep. The faint and dreamy color, colors flow gently in the air. If you take off your mask, you definitely smell the familiar, sweet, nauseous aroma of ambrosia. Is that circus dinner really here? Even the nightmare can't find her. Where should we go look? The faintly sparkling light all flow through the same direction. You stretch out your arm, your hand, your shackles cannot be fully activated. They can sense the faint flow. Trace the source of ambrosia. Huh. Looks like a chapel of some sort. I mean, not exactly, but kinda. You lead the team up the stairs into an elegant office. The sinner serpent is in here. Behind the spacious desk is Irene, president of Quinn. She is leaning back against a chair, brows relaxed, sleeping soundly. A uh, half a glass of ambrosia sits on the desk beneath the glass is a note with a small snake symbol. Oof, that looks so sick. Is she sleeping? That looks like she's just like looking on the right direction. She will fall down if she sleeps like that. Come on now. I know where the serpent is now. She used ambrosia to hide in someone else's dream just like she did with mess. You pick up the glass of ambrosia. Faintly colored mist rises from the mouth of the glass. This is definitely the epicenter of the mist in the club. Irene's image flickers inside. I'll go check things out. He's so confident. This guy is like so confident. Like at least, you know, I'm just gonna say this. It made sense for Barry from Magium to be this reckless because he there's a whole point to his story like how he's... Uh, lost the ability to feel like this like a rational fear um because of like his past where he's not hesitant to do things but here it's like there is no reason for him to be this reckless i suppose he doesn't really have a choice but maybe he should have called other sinners in but then again how would they attack who would they attack it's really really weird but still if east district who's like super protected or everything is attacked like shouldn't a large amount of force and people who are able to deal with this thing like anti-mania devices or something should be set down or something. Take off your mask, hold your breath, gulp down the ambrosia. You're overwhelmed by the familiar dizziness. You close your eyes when you open them again. That chessboard looks sweet as hell. Like, I love the design on that. From the center of a huge chessboard, the sound of chess pieces hitting the board echoes from one end of the chessboard. Next second you see a huge shadow looming towards you. Oh my, immediate fighting. Get him rest of my sinners. Ah, it seems like these side characters will give her like a boost if I don't take them out. So we will take them out first. Though our characters are way too strong to even be bothered with all that. Okay, that was easy. And we'll just do the secondary one with this. With a super strong attack. And we'll surround her and just take her out. <laughs> super simple. Hi, right, Zoya. Wait, why are we fighting Zoya? She's not a sinner that should be here. The hell? That's odd. Okay. Uh, that was only easy because I, my character's levels are too high. You ruin the chessboard because you can't win the game? What a philistine. A person who is hostile or indifferent to culture and art. So she is basically calling him uncultured. Uh, that's what philistine means. Hmm. Come out. You ruined a good game of chess. Ooh. Oh, these are like... Is this supposed to be like 5D chess or something? It looks very cool. I thought there was candles at first, but no. The light gradually brightens, and the first thing you see is a shrunken chessboard. The pieces on the chessboard are broken from smashing into each other, much like the board you just fought on. As the area becomes brighter, you see a giant tree formed by the chessboard. Irene sits at the foot of the tree, gazing at you from across the chessboard. A few days ago, you declined my invitation. Now you show up uninvited and trespass onto my chessboard. Irene. 
What do you want, Chief of Minos? Cleanup completed. A chess match? Okay. I mean, I kind of guess they were going to do that, but still. In the chess match in the dream, Chief and Irene divide the black and white and take on each other. <laughs> like an actual fight or do I have to play a chess game? Because that's not going to end well. Chief of Minos. That's not going to end well. I have played like a bogus version of chess when I was a child. Uh, which like rules were completely fucked and it was not like an actual chess game should be. So I can kind of say I don't know how to play chess actually. Because I never really played it as an adult. And I, the one I played when I was a kid was actually like didn't rule, didn't use proper rules. Like I didn't even know what a checkmate is. Only found that out a couple years ago. I don't really watch chess or play chess, so I'm gonna be fucked if they decide to play chess. I came to find the performer you hired. Ambrosia has taken too many people captive. The contamination of sleepwalking is seriously threatening the real world. I must find Sinner Serpent and put an end to this mutation. At least you're being honest and upfront today. Not long ago, you got a bunch of spies from the Ninth Agency to test me. We need to find out the truth about Ambrosia. You and your Midsummer Night's Club are also victims. She trapped you in this dream, no matter how well you get along. She has betrayed she has now betrayed you. I don't think that's how it is. I think she is just part of the club. But I'm on your side. We share the same interests. You speak as frankly as possible. Observe Irene's reaction. Her intelligence and rationality are obviously much higher than the average sleepwalker. You must hurry up if you want to cooperate with her. Irene laughs. You think I'm a victim and want to save me? She glides her hand over the chessboard, instantly restoring the broken pieces to their original forms. On the opposite end of the chessboard is a vague illusionary figure who appears to play against Irene. I know this is a dream. I can clearly recognize my own consciousness. Everything in this world obeys my will. Does this feel familiar? Very familiar. To obey someone's will is a disturbing description and exactly the impression left on you by the Black Ring. I do not know jack about the Black Ring. Like, it, you know, appeared in the last event. I have not read too much about it from the stories and obviously I missed out on way too many events to actually figure out what the Black Ring is. So I'm just gonna... It was some... In the last event, it was something along the lines of we are captured under the Black Ring and like we are... Up controlled by it somehow or something like that she knows far more than you expected the possible intentions behind this new strain of mania makes you shudder yet Irene looks at you with a playful expression don't worry chief this is just a lucid dream its limits and boundaries are very clear I can't manipulate reality with my will like the black ring I thought you wouldn't need this kind of illusion why rely on these illusions? You can already conquer everything in real life. You're the president of Quinn. You can get whatever you want. No one can halt your desires or footsteps. You're right. That's why I feel bored sometimes. On the chessboard, the illusionary figure, white chess piece moves. Irene thinks for a while, then moves her black piece. I have fulfilled too many wishes, but none of them have truly satisfied me. So I was curious what kind of joy this legendary Ambrosia can bring me, so that I'll never be bored. The answer she gave me was very interesting and unique. At least, it's something reality can't give me. Look at the figure across the board. It's blurry and illusionary, but also calm and focused. Even if you can't read the board, you know the figure is a chess master. So the whole point is that she gets an opponent that will always win against her and if I just fight a fucking computer or just fight a fucking robot or something. You want an opponent? You're right. That woman knows very well she cannot hold me captive. So instead of becoming my enemy, she gave me this interesting gift. She's my friend already. She's an adorable, vulnerable and hardworking person. I like her very much. If you want me to hand her over. Chief, what can you give me in exchange for my friendship? This woman isn't a victim, nor is she a potential partner. You know very well that he or she's in charge. Whether you or Serpent Vince depends. Now for fuck's sake, why is it recovered? What is wrong with my internet? 
Whether you are, whether you are serpent wins depends on which way this overlord sway. 